Now the next question I've got is a very interesting one. It's about uh, planting your ranunculus and can you use a grow bag? I singled this question out in particular because I want to explain to you how ranunculus anemones work. Now when we first start them off, we need to make sure that they're not too wet because we want them to just gently wake up and they don't have any roots or any foliage to get rid of any water. So that's why we don't want to overwater them. But the opposite is true when they start to flower, especially for ranunculus. And they're also cool weather plants, so hot weather shuts them down. So when the temperatures start to rise in the summer, they will switch from flower production to corn production because they think the end of the season is coming and their job is to survive until the next season. So in order to keep them blooming for as long as possible, especially with the unseasonal heat waves that we get in the spring, suddenly we get a million degrees, don't we? And then it goes back down again. We need to keep the soil temperature as cool as possible. So the last thing you want to do is put them in a grow bag, because that's basically soil wrapped in plastic. And that, where it's fantastic for tomatoes, which will bake in the heat and they will love it, Rhinoculus will absolutely hate it. Their leaves will go yellow, that's a sign of switch to corn production, and they will shut down. So you wanna make sure that you don't use a grow bag and you don't use any kind of plastic mulch to suppress weeds over your ranunculus because all it's gonna do is raise the soil temperature, which is the one thing we don't want. Which links us beautifully into the final question that I'm gonna answer this afternoon. And that is about crop covers and mini polytunnels covering your ranunculus. The crop protection is just for those two things. Now, all you want your crop cover for, especially if you're starting your corms in the spring, is for two things. You wanna keep late frost off of them and you wanna keep any heavy rain showers off of the flowers when they are in full bloom, because otherwise they're a bit like roses. If they're in full flower, like really big and open, they've got very delicate petals. And if we get one of those April downpours where it's heavy rain for hours and hours on end, what can happen is all the petals will glue together and they will do something called balling. So problem with these little mini tunnels is um, they can blow away just when you needed them and leave your crop exposed. They can be short which means they might not be tall enough for our florist grade ranunculus. Remember these are not the same as ordinary ranunculus, they're very tall so they could be too short and they can overheat incredibly quickly when the sun comes out in the spring so you just need to bear that in mind. That's the reason why we use Neil's frames because we've got a roof on the top, but it's open at the sides. So they protect them from the frost, they protect them from the rain, but they don't let them overheat. So as well as the videos, we've also got an anemone and ranunculus handbook. And I have just packed it full of all the information that's gonna be contained in the videos. So we've got a section here on container gardening with all your pot sizes and how many corns that you will need shopping list so you can print this out separately if you want to and take it to the garden center with you just skip forward we have an overview it's a little checklist for you so we're going to be sowing in mid february as well so late winter as well as autumn so this is just a quick checklist for you and your blooming times are there as well and you've got lots of really detailed information on growing every single step is covered so you can get a cup of tea and have a good read. Good morning, good morning, happy bank holiday. I thought I would bring you in to my favourite place to be at the moment to have a look at the Renaculus babies. These are so beautiful. Good Lord, what a lovely evening. I've got my camera, might possibly have a glass of wine on the go. I'm just taking some pictures of this pot. So all we've got here is Asters, Eucalyptus and Statis. It's September and it looks like spring. We haven't gone anywhere near the dahlias yet. I've barely scratched the surface as far as stems are concerned. These are such good producers. 
and of course you could edit it out if you wanted to take it down and just have the amazing lavender grey with the eucalyptus maybe a little bit of stasis absolutely you can do that these are available also as a separate seed packet so if you just wanted a little bit of blush you can do that or if you want to go the whole hog and have a garden full of colour then you can do that too I know what I'm going to do.